everyone, it's Karen here from tuppenscolor.co.uk. Thank you for joining me again. Uh, today's project is another one in my series of action and kinetic cards, and this card is called a magic slider card. And the reason why it's called magic is because it just looks a bit dull and boring, doesn't it? We've just got a, a little line, uh, you know, a little line image of a bird, but when you pull the slider, this is when the magic happens because whoa! By magic, the bird is in full colour. And if you pop him back in again, he's black and white. How did that happen? Very, very simple project to make. Uh, and I think you'll agree it's quite effective. So if you stay with me, I'll show you how it was done. I've cut myself a piece of white cardstock uh, now this isn't Whisper White, I wanted something with a little bit more body. So this is um, 300 GSM white cardstock, which I got from the craft shop. And I, I cut it to five and a quarter inches by four inches. And I've also cut some strips of the same cardstock that are three eighths of an inch wide and five and a quarter inches long. And I've uh, glued them to the back of the white cardstock um, right onto the edge. So that they make, can you see? Yeah, you can see it there. They make a sort of, um, so a sort of little railway lines for the, uh, um, you know, for the other piece of card to run in. Uh, and I've also cut a piece of designer series paper, uh, and I've cut that to five and three quarter inches that way by five inches. I've scored it at half an inch on the on the two long sides and one of the short sides and I've cut off the corners to make um, to make little mitered edges. Now this particular paper is one of those that you can get for free when you spend £45 or more in items from Stamping Up because it's one of the items that's in the Celebration promotion. Celebration is running this year from the 6th of January to the 31st of March and for every £45 you spend, you can choose something from the Celebration brochure. And there are lots and lots of lovely, lovely things in the Celebration brochure, including this paper, which is called Best Year Ever. Uh, so that is what I am using. So, right, so I'm going to be using this stab set, which is another one of the items from the Celebration brochure, and it's called A Happy Thing. And I'm going to be using the bird image, which I think is a kingfisher, but I'm prepared to be uh, corrected on that one. And the sentiment, our friendship is a very happy thing. Uh, I stamped the bird out twice, and I stamped it once onto a piece of window sheet using stays on ink. Um, it really does need to be stays on or some kind of permanent ink if you're going to be working on window sheet because otherwise it won't dry and it'll rub off and you'll be very very unhappy. And I then stamped it again but this time I used memento ink because I wanted to colour it in with blendabilities. Now blendabilities are another of the items that are in the celebration brochure so um, the, you know n never been a better time to treat yourself with stamping up quite frankly uh, so once I coloured it in I then lined up the two images and tried to get the registration uh, as close as I can so that it looked like it was it was just one image and when I was happy with that I just put a staple in the top just to tack them together just to hold them together uh, then cut another bit of the DSP and I cut it two inches by three inches uh, and I I've scored it at half an inch, uh, one inch, half an inch again and I've put on some, um, some sticky strip. Uh, so that I'm going, I'm going, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover that edge so that it covers up the um, it covers up the staple because we don't want to see the staple because that's not nice. Right now, that is going to be the front. So, I'm going to line that up. Line that up and making 
sure I keep that in the registration because this is what is going to help hold it all together. Come here, you thing, you. And that's going to be the slider. And oh, don't move, don't move like that. And I've got a little bit sticking out over there, so I'm just going to take my snips and just cut that straight. So there we have the image. Right now we need to mount the image into the frame. Now. Uh, before I go any further, there's a couple of other things that I want to do, and th this really is optional. Uh, but what I don't want happening is I don't want this being pulled right out of the slider because it will kind of give the game away a bit. So I'm going to add some um, some stoppers onto the card. So the way it's going to run is is this the That is going to, you see how the um, coloured bit runs between those bits of card that we put there to try and keep them, try and keep it smooth and straight and make a good mechanism. So I also want to put a, um, a bit of a stopper here to stop the card being pulled right out of the frame and for that I have some fast fuse doesn't want to play and off and I'm going to put that just below what is going to be the top edge and I'm going to put another one fast fever doesn't want to play today off put another one and that one is going to be just at the bottom of the picture side So now we're going to assemble it. So the acetate side goes over the white card. That goes through the frame. And what happens then is when you pull it, the magic happens. And it is amazing how mystifying that is to some people and it'll keep children happy for hours. Right, so all we have to do now is to assemble it. So here's the uh, the frame card that I cut earlier on and I've put some sticky strip down, the, uh, down those three sides and I'm going to, eventually this is going to go onto this piece of card which is just an ordinary bit of cardstock which I've cut down to the size I want uh, to make it a little bit easier for people to get their, the, you know, your fingers in and to pull on the slider I've got my uh, small oval punch and I'm just going to center that between those two edges and just make sure that it is reasonably centered and just nip that bit out oh it wasn't very central never mind <laughs> we live and learn nobody will stop a galloping horse as I used to say in my in my charming youth so uh, Here's the slider piece, and this is going to wrap around the slider piece, and it's going to fit onto the front of the card. Now I'm not going to move all the remove the backing from the um, the sticky strip in one go. I'm going to pull a little bit back and just fold that so that it sticks out so that I've got a little bit of wiggle room. Okay. So there it is. 
all lined up. Here's my back account. Ooh. Right, so because I haven't taken all the backing off the sticky strip, I've got a little bit of time, a little bit of wiggle room to move my card around and decide exactly where I want it. And I think that will do. Yeah, how's that looking? Okay. Now he's white. And now he's in colour. And now he's in white. Black and white. And now he's in colour. Isn't that cute? Children really do love this card and they will keep them happy for quite some time. Okay, so all we have to do now is the uh, the final bit of decoration. Right, all it needs now to finish it off is uh, a sentiment and I'm going to be using this one, which is Our Friendship is a Very Happy Thing, which is from the same stamp set that, uh, that we've been using all the way through. And I decided that I'm going to use Mossy Meadow ink because I wanted something that was a little bit um, not quite so uh, harsh as a, as a black ink. Uh, and I've cut a strip of, it's the same as DSP as the background of the card, it's just that I've used the other side of it. Uh, and I've cut a strip that's three quarters of an inch uh, wide and lightly ink up my stamp and try and center it on the piece there. And this is where your grid paper is really, really useful because it helps you judge where you are, just slightly above the midline there. I press down and there it is. Our friendship is a very happy thing. Uh, so I'm going to, um, I want a, a, a sort of a banner look, so I've just got my, my little snips. These scissors are absolutely brilliant. I thought, oh, do you know what, scissors are scissors. There's not going to be that much difference in the stamping up ones, but there are, these are, they are beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. Is that even? No. So let's... You see, I have astigmatism. That's my excuse. Yeah, that looks that looks a bit better. So we'll put some dimensionals on the back to raise it up a little bit. Close up my pad before I put my thumb in it, because that's been known to happen. Stamping up cases are so clever. They've really, really been well thought through because they hold the ink um, so that the ink pad is facing down and so that the ink is always on the surface of the ink pad and is always ready for you to use. Okay, so there's our, our banner. Our friendship is a very happy thing. And we'll pop that in there. Right, one last little touch. Um, this is another <laughs> one of the items that, again, is in the Celebration catalogue. It's um, it, it's a an embellish from an embellishment set that coordinates with the uh, with the DSP, um, and uh, you get three rolls of polyester ribbon. There's the crushed curry, uh, coastal cabana, and um, what's the third one? It's uh, crisp cantaloupe. Um, and I'm going to cut, this is the crushed curry, obviously, and I'm going to cut just a little bit of a tag there. And again, I'm going to just staple that, pull that out a bit so I can get a, get a, a good go at it. Uh, and I'm going to just staple that into place. It's an email with my stamping up stick plat. Okay. Oh, yeah, just a, another little another little touch so that people can you know you can catch hold of it easily in okay. 
and there it is. So I do hope you've enjoyed this uh, this little project and thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you've enjoyed uh, if you've enjoyed watching me make this card and you'd like to have a go with it yourself, uh, all of the materials that I've used um, are available from Stamping Up. So go and talk to your Stamping Up demonstrator. If you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, then you can shop online. The details for my online shop are at the bottom of the page, as are the details for my blog, which is tuppenscolour.co.uk, and I will be putting, thing, uh, putting details of measurements and um, so on and so forth on my blog. So thank you for watching and do join me again soon. Goodbye now.